Okay, the first thing you want to do is reinstall your throttle uh, cable. But before you do that, um, uh, so there's a really important piece that's kind of hard to see. Um, this little uh, pin here, there's a, there's, a, there's a round piece that fits over this pin and your throttle valve right here has a ramp and it rides on top of that piece and it when it when it rotates it pushes the throttle uh, valve up opening up this um, this passageway for more fuel to come out um, if you don't put this piece back I should have warned you about this when I took it off but if you don't put this piece if this piece isn't on it won't accelerate it'll just it, it won't even it hardly idle and it won't accelerate it won't, won't it won't work for properly um, if you bought a rebuild kit uh, it has that piece, so I'm going to put that on right now. Make sure this is the piece I'm talking about. It's real tiny. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it fits over that, and I'm going to put that on right now. I, I can't do it on the camera because, but you can see it now. It's it's on there, and that's what your throttle uh, throttle valve rides on when it when it turns. And you got to have that piece on when you reinstall this. So uh, put this in. Also, if you don't have it installed, um, when you work your throttle, this 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 part of the throttle will hit the screw here because that uh, it's not ra raising up as it turns. So that's way one way of knowing you've you've you're missing that piece. Go ahead and tighten these down. There's four of them. After you got that on, make sure it, it operates correctly. You can see how it how it kind of rises up as it turns. That's what you, that's what you want it to do. Um, there's two fuel lines. There's an outlet. This is your outlet line, and this is your inlet line. And your inlet is larger here, and the outlet's smaller. Let's go ahead and reconnect those. Um, you should always replace your intake gasket when you remove your carburetor, and I have one on order. I also have an air filter on order for this and a fuel filter, but they just haven't arrived, and I, just for the sake of doing the video, I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the old one. And the easiest way to do this is to insert the mounting bolts and the air filter piece on the carburetor. Insert your gasket there, and then reattach it. Put the tripod on the let's try this again. Tighten down your mounting screws. And 
then uh, there should be an air filter here, and then you put the air filter on, reattach the cover. And uh, let's go, let's go try and start this thing. really need to get a fuel filter, an air filter for this, and a new intake gasket to uh, complete the job. I should have those on Monday, and I'll do a video of uh, putting in the, the fuel filter. So uh, anyway, I uh, hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching.